Shalom, be Yom Tov. It's time once again for the Hebrew portion of our Torah Club CD. The name of our portion for this week is Tazria, and it means she bears seed. Turn with me to page 28 of your Jot and Tittle workbook and follow along as I read Leviticus 12, verses 1 and 2. Vedaber Adonai el Moshe, l'amor. Debar el bene Yisrael, l'amor. Isha, kitazria, veyelda zachar. Vetama, shivat yamim, kimenidat, dota titma. Okay, did you recognize the first line again? Good for you. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Ve'yedeber Adonai el Moshe l'amor. Let's read together now the next four lines, and I will leave time for you to repeat. Beginning with the second line. Debar el b'nei Yisrael l'amor. Isha kitazria ve'yelda zachar. Vetam'a shivat yamim. Kime nidat dota titma. Yofi. Did you recognize the phrase B'nai Yisrael from the second line? The sons of Israel? Good. Another word that you may recognize is Shevat Yamim. The word Yamim is the plural form of the word day or Yom. When it says Shivat Yamim, it means seven days. The first word in the fifth line, kime, also has a yud and a mem. We see this yud and mem in the word yamim. If we can learn to recognize the roots, we can learn to recognize the words. Kime means as in the days. It has the same root as yamim, yud and mem. Let's look together at our related words and pay special attention to the root letters Zayn, Resh, and Ein that are found in each one of these words. They all have something to do with bearing seed. The first word, Zera, means a seed itself. Zera Yaakov, a seed of Jacob. Zera Melucha means a seed of the royal family. Now, if you've been studying your Hebrew, you would recognize from the word Melucha a mem, a lamed, and a kaf. These are part of the root which indicate king. A melech is a king, a malcha is a queen. Someone who is a zera seed of a royal family is zera melucha. The next word we have is Yisrael, which means Jezreel or God sows. The next word is arm or forearm, which means that which comes out or is seeded from the body. And it is zro'a. And the last phrase that we have, Shemaim Zruim Kochavim. It means a sky seeded or sown with stars. Did you recognize the Zain, the Reish, and the Ain? Good for you. Remember that those three letters form a root form of the word bearing seed. They are related to bearing forth seed or offspring. 
In closing, follow along as I read once again the first two verses of Leviticus chapter 12. And listen for those words that you're already familiar with. Are you ready? Let's begin. Ve'edeber Adonai el Moshe le'amor. Debar el Bnei Yisrael le'amor. Isha ki tazria ve'yelda zachar. Vetama shivat yamim ki me nidat dota titma. Good work. I will speak with you next week. Litrot, bye.